given this function f of x squared minus x minus 5 equals x to the power of 12 plus 2x raised to the power of 6 plus 12, then the goal is to find or to evaluate f of negative 6. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so the question is look something like this. So given this function, f of x squared minus x minus 5 equals x raised to the power of 12 plus 2x raised to the power of 6 plus 12, then the goal is to evaluate f of negative 6. Now, to answer this kind of question, of course, one way is to equate x cubed minus x minus 5 to negative 6. Then find the value of x, then replace the value of x to the right-hand side of our function. So that's the goal. So now, let's focus on this equation. Now, what we're going to do is to equate this to 0. So add 6 on both sides. So I have x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. So now let's focus on this and solve for the value of x. Since this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we will use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, the value of a in our formula is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. This b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1. And this c is the constant term, which is positive 1. So we can replace a, b, c in this format like this. Now let's simplify. Negative of negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And square root of negative 3, we can rewrite this as i multiplied by square root of 3, wherein this i is equivalent to square root of negative 1. Alright, so this is the value of x. So if we replace x squared minus x minus 5 with negative 6, we will replace all this x on the right-hand side of our equation, function rather, as 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 all over 2. Then this number, we need to raise it to the power of 12 and to the power of 6. And of course, this takes some time to evaluate. So, I will not use this value of x. So we will use another way to evaluate the right-hand side of our function. So let's use, again, this equation, x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Now from here, we can say that x is not equal to negative 1, for sure, because x, we find x as 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 over 2. So x is not equal to negative 1, definitely. But what is the reason why we state this? Because... If x is not equal to negative 1, x plus 1 is not equal to 0. Now, why we said that x plus 1 is not equal to 0? Because we will multiply both sides of this equation by x plus 1 like this. So we know x plus 1 is not equal to 0. Now, x plus 1 times 0, this is just 0. And x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1, we know this is just x cubed plus 1. And we can get the value of x cubed as negative 1. So x cubed equals negative 1. So instead of using the value of x as 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 over 2, we will use the value of x cubed because if we cube this, we get negative 1. So now, here we go. First, we need to replace x squared minus x minus 5 with negative 6. That's for sure. Now, solving for the value of x, we get 1 plus or minus i times square root of 3 over 2. But we don't want to use this, then raised to the power of 12. Therefore, we will use its alternative. So we get that x cubed equals negative 1. So now our function becomes like this. So we can rewrite this as f of x squared minus x minus 5 equals this x raised to the power of 12. We can rewrite this as x cubed raised to the power of 4 plus x cubed raised to the power of 2 plus 12. So we can replace this with negative 6. And we can replace all of this x cubed with negative 1, 
like this. So, f of negative 6 now is equivalent to negative 1 raised to the fourth power plus 2 times negative 1 squared plus 12. And negative 1 raised to the fourth power, we know this is just 1. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. 1 plus 2 plus 12 simply equal to 15. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this function, f of x squared minus x minus 5 equals x raised to the power of 12 plus 2x raised to the power of 6 plus 12, then the numerical value of f of negative 6 simply equal to 15. And as always, we are done.